Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me, Stitching with Sue here. I am here to do an unboxing of an item that was sent to me from uh, SoTech. Now SoTech um, contacted me and asked me if I would um, review one of their products. And of course, it involves uh, machine embroidery, and I said, yes, I would. So they uh, were looking for embroidery experts from social media that they felt um, would match their brand to uh, cooperate. And they found me on YouTube, and um, they stated that they loved my videos, and um, they presented the opportunity to review one of their um, 60 spool adjustable thread racks. And I said, well, yes, of course, I'd, I'd love to. So SoTech, uh, the Rack Pro, um, let me click on the link here. It came through Amazon. And let me just kind of go over this with you a little bit. Um, so it's SoTech Thread Rack Pro. Now it says two pack, 60 spool thread stand holder, spool organizer for thread storage, uh, braiding hair rack for hair braids, great sewing and embroidery machine tool supplies. Now this retails on Amazon for $29.98. And you get, if you are an Amazon Prime shopper, you will get fast free shipping with Amazon Prime. Um, and the size says two set thread rack pro. And um, it's perfect for sewing and embroidery threads, spools, storing, uh, hair braiding, which I've never thought of that before. That's something interesting. It contains a two pack of 60 spool thread racks. Um, the the uh, thread does not come with the spool, so you have to supply your own thread, which is kind of a given thing. Um, the high storage capacity provides 60 regular pegs for thread spool storage or braiding hair, and extra 10 long replaceable pegs for cone storage, other use as you wish. It says it's strong and durable, crafter from advanced durable plastic material. This rack is strong and durable for long time use. No more worrying about traditional wooden rack pegs, breakage or mold problems, which I currently do own a uh, wood rack and I never actually thought about that before but that's interesting of course plastic you know would probably last a lot longer than the wood would uh, flexible storage it can be used on the desktop or easily mounted on the wall and the pegs are detachable allowing you to adjust location according to your customized customized needs elegant design this elegant white color and smooth design ensures it looks fantastic, whether placed on a desk or hung on a wall. And um, I definitely would hang this on a wall. Um, of course, you know, desk space is at a minimum for most of us crafters. And the wooden one that I have is currently on the wall. And I will definitely replace the wooden one with this one. So this does come from SoTech. S-E-W-T-E-C-H. And um, let me go back. Uh, let's see. Um, now what they, they state here in their email is some advantages of this product. The rack pegs are detachable, can be adjusted according to your needs. They are strong and super durable, elegant and fantastic looking, etc. Um so a little bit about SoTech is dedicated to the sewing and embroidery industry for more than 15 years and has provided millions of thousands of embroidery hoops, thread rack stands, bobbins, and other sewing tools to customers all around the world. 
with high quality products and warm service, SoTech get highly recommendations worldwide and will accompany you will and will accompany your happy sewing time. And um, this came from Dave Zaho, Z H A O, and he is uh, senior sales from the company SoTech. Now I'm looking to see if they uh, provided any type of coupon code. Uh, I'm not seeing that, but I will copy and paste the information down below in the description where you can find information about the product on uh, the Amazon product page. So uh, let's take a look at this. I, I pulled over um, my little thread caddy that I had and um, this is pretty large. Um, it says 60 spools, adjustable thread rack, uh, super storage, high flexible, premium quality, so tech thread rack a better choice now the box came a little bit um a little bit disheveled here but um i'm sure it's fine inside so let's go ahead and do an opening here and by the way um welcome if you're brand new here and um you've never been to my channel before i'd like to welcome you here uh, my name is susan timchak and i do unboxings with uh, machine embroidery sewing. I also do, um, I'm a demonstrator with a company called Stampin' Up, and I do um, Facebook Lives on my Facebook channel. Let's flip this over and see what it has on the back. Um, okay, so let's see. Storage plates, support foots, uh, short pegs, long pegs. Um, here's screws. I'm assuming that's for hanging on the wall and some expansion expansion tubes um, so here's assembly steps make sure you have all the accessory parts needed please prepare a screwdriver yourself um, align the support foot B with the small holes okay so it's explaining how to um, put it on your wall which I would not be the one installing this, although I don't feel as though, oh my goodness, look at how much is in here. I don't feel it would be very difficult, but um, that's why you have children, <laughs> right? <laughs> Oops, let's get all of these out. So my son will probably be over tomorrow, and um, he doesn't know it yet, but he's going to have a job to do. So here are um, the screws that come with it. And I'm not very, you know, techno with things like that. But, um, oh, and it comes with two racks. Oh, my goodness. I thought I was only getting one. I'm getting two. Very excited about that. So let's take a look here. Okay, let's see. So you get two racks. And here is where I would assume that you, you know, hang it on the wall. So here are the different pegs. Quite a lot of pegs. Let me get my scissors here. It's a nice, um, the quality is super heavy duty. I feel like I just popped something in my shoulder. It has nothing to do with, with the unboxing here, so please don't feel that, that, that it does. Okay, so here are the different pegs. So if you have um, the standard spool, I would assume this is the one that you would use. If you have a larger spool, you would use that. So let's see how these would go. Let me look at the picture. I'm a visual person. I am visual. Let's take a look. So it looks like the larger spools, they, they, uh, oh, you can also put your little bobbins on here too. I like that. Okay. Let me flip this over again to see. Okay. So you get support foots, 
support foot foot <laughs> all right let's see how this goes all right they fit right in there like that okay oops oops so you would just you know have to decide where you know of course if i have i i don't have a whole lot of uh spools that are the extra large ones but i would assume that i would you know be more likely to put the larger ones down here oh and they fit right in there okay that's easy to do i have arthritic hands so sometimes i find things are hard to um to do but let's put let's put a whole row in here and uh, tomorrow when my son comes over, if he comes, if not, um, his girlfriend will be here. She's quite handy. I'm not a handy person, you know? I'm not one of those kind of people that are mechanically inclined, but um, she would definitely know how to, uh, to hang this up on the wall so that it's secure. Oops, drop that one. Our three to cans, right? All right. Let's see. Let's put one over here. And let's see how this goes. Now, if it were to stand on the table. Oh, I see. Okay. So, there are legs that come out. Let me put this one on the floor. Whoop. My leg just fell out. Don't you hate when that happens? All right. Let me see how that goes back in. So I was wanting to do this review. There we go. Is that how that goes? I think I put it in upside down the wrong way. I wanted to do this review yesterday, but um, I was I had some other things that I needed to get done. So I apologize. Uh, I know I told So Check uh, So Tech that I would you know, be doing it, but, um, better late than never. Okay. So these little things flip out and if you wanted to stand it up on a table, that's how you would do it. Okay. So let's get some, um, I'm going to put my thread, spools of thread over here. Okay, so look at that. Now, these aren't open yet, so of course, you know, um, you would put your thread on there like so. Wow, you could fit a lot on here. Put all my thread on there. You could put it and stand it on um, your desk if you choose to do so. But um, I think it's really nice. Now here's the big ones are down here. So I don't have any big ones in this little container. But um, I think this is really, really cool. Um, I like that it's plastic because then you know, if it gets dirty, you can just spritz it with a little bit of water to clean it. Um, I never thought about the wooden one, you know, with getting moldy or, you know, cracking or things like that. Um, let me see if you could see this here. Yeah, you could see it. You just want to be careful with these legs. So that's why I would definitely hang it on the wall. So the legs would then get folded in like that and it would hang on your wall like so. And I'm excited about this. Um, I have the perfect spot over there to hang my thread. And this way, when you hang your thread like this, you can see all the color threads that you already have. So, you know, you need an orange one, then boop, there's your orange one. Um, this type of storage I'm using right now is a um, stand that has drawers in it. So I'm forever digging in the drawers. And this is much, much better because of the fact that I can see all of my 
colors. And when I want a green one, I could just pick a green one. And there you go. I love this. I didn't think I was going to get two of them in there, although it said two, but I didn't think two of them was going to fit in the box. But I'm very excited about this. So <clears throat> I would definitely highly recommend this. So if you're looking for some sort of storage for your thread and, um, you know, whether you sew or you do machine embroidery or it even said with hair braiding, um, definitely um, I would highly recommend this. I think the plastic is very strong. It's sturdy, very easy to put these little pegs in here, just like so. And um, I'm very excited for this. So I would definitely um, recommend this to add to your sewing room. And this way, my recommendation would be to hang it on the wall. Get as much stuff as you can off of your desk because we need room, right? We need room for um, our trimming and our, our cutting and of course our machine embroidery. So I am going to continue to put all the little pegs in here and um, this sure does make it better than um, this box that I have my thread in because again, you know, it's hard to see what thread you have. This way your thread is all on display for you and you can fit, what does it say, 60 spools of thread? Oh, I don't want that to fall on the ground. Um, 60 spools? My goodness, that is a lot of spools of thread. 60, let me just take a look here again. So here's the box. Yes, 60 spools, adjustable thread rack. And I love the fact that you can put your little bobbins on there as well. Love that. I really, really do. I'm excited about that. All right, well, so tech, definitely, I would give this a 10. A definite 10 to um, organize all of my thread. This is like almost addicting, you know, like you have to like, you just got to sit here and you got to put all your pegs. Get your pegs in a row, folks. <laughs> but thank you so much for the opportunity um, for reviewing this product. I am very pleased with it. I'm very happy with it. Tomorrow it'll go up on the wall and um, I think it'll be a great addition to my craft room get things off my desk, off my floor, hang it on the wall, and um, I'll be all set to complete my next embroidery project. So again, thank you so much for the opportunity to review your product. I definitely give it a, a 10 plus, 10 plus because of the quality of it. Um, it's very sturdy. It's heavyweight plastic and um, it's gonna be a great addition to my craft room. So thank you again, and um, I wanna thank all of you for uh, watching. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Next to that, you'll see a notification bell. If you click, click on that bell, it'll fill it in, and you will receive notifications when I upload new videos. You won't, <clears throat> you'll wanna make sure <clears throat> excuse me, not to miss out on any of my upcoming videos because you just never know what's going to come up next. And um, again, so, the, so tech, thank you so much. I'm losing my voice here. <clears throat> I apologize for that. But um, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to review your product. And until next time, folks, happy stitching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.